my friends and welcome back to Fallout 3. In yesterday's video, we did end the day just outside of Big Town, but today I want to head to Rivet City to work on the quest of protecting the waterway where we need to consult with Officer Le Petelier at Rivet City. Something to do with um, guarding the water caravans, I think, for our oh-so-overworked scribe at the Jefferson Memorial. Oh, hi, Fox. How's it going there? Oh, look, there's some caravans over here. Let's go see who this might be. Are you one of my caravan specialists? I think so. Oh, why? There's multiple caravans. Here to see the good doctor? Excellent. Oh, I've, I apparently have already talked to you before, but let me sell some items real quick. <laughs> Pleasure doing business with you. You're welcome. See you next time you need that special little something. Yeah, totally. I really didn't need to sell too terribly much, but... Yes? I did get rid of the Brother to Steal Power Armor. Oh, hi, guys. Water Caravan Driver. Sit down. Grab a beer. It's free. Hello. Once we exhaust this supply of free beer, then we'll get going. Uh, because <laughs> being tipsy for the caravan is probably the brightest of ideas. Does Three Dog have anything else to say? You're listening to Galaxy News Radio, and I'm your host, Three Dog, Lord and Master of all I survey. Here's the latest news. Unemployment is down, stocks are up, and the UN has just declared global peace forever. Now the real news. Ugh. It's been some time since those plucky paladins in power armor first stormed the Jefferson Memorial and yeah. gave the Enclave their walking papers. <laughs> but the fight, dear children, did not end there. The Brotherhood has been pursuing President Eaton's little minions throughout the wasteland. You know, some laser beams here, a few exploded corpses there. <laughs> Let's just hope this mop-up operation ends ASAP. The Enclave's been responsible for enough death and destruction. We need to get back to normal. You know, like fighting raiders and super mutants. Until next time, this is Three Dog. Ow! And you're listening to Galaxy News. Oh, I'm going to miss you a little bit, Three Dog. <laughs> yeah, the fight has to continually go on. Otherwise... You'd have nothing to go on about. I, I don't know. Anyway, this is Officer Lipatelier. I'm not a water beggar, lady. I'm the one who fixed the water. If you're here looking for water, I'm afraid I can't help you. All the water is at Project Purity. If you want a handout, head over to the Jefferson Memorial and ask for Scribe Bigsley. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm busy coordinating military operations. I feel like everybody should know who Mabel is at this point. Like, it should be a thing. That's why I'm here, actually. Bigsley sent me. I'm a decent shot. Need, an the need another hired gun. I thought Rivet City Security was a police force, not a military organization. Military operations? You've got to be kidding. Rivet City Security are chumps. Uh, let's go with this option. <laughs> Tell me about it. It's enough trouble just keeping the miscreants on that leaky boat under control. <laughs> but the Brotherhood needs help delivering all that water. But I'm not getting the support I need. There's been an increase in attacks on the caravan, and they don't seem random anymore. Mm. To make matters worse, I'm running out of resources, and I'm down to my greenest men. Hmm. Sounds like you could use some help. What do you need? Hire me and your problems are as good as gone, pretty much. Yeah, not interested in dying. Good luck to you and your men. Middle one. Good. My veterans are already out in the field. Or worse, never came back. Mm. I could use someone who knows what she's doing. I need you to escort a caravan from Project Purity to Canterbury Commons. If, or rather, when, they get ambushed, I need you to figure out who's behind the attack. You sound pretty certain this particular caravan will be attacked. Yeah, how can you guarantee it? If, if we do get attacked and I do find a ringleader, then what? I'm getting paid, right? <laughs> All right, I'll protect the caravan and track down the attackers. Going to pass on this one, find someone else. No, and, and then what? After protecting the caravan, track down the attacker's base of operations and put an end to it once and for all. Okay. Yeah, you do sound pretty certain it's going to be attacked. I'm pretty certain any caravan will be attacked. This particular caravan 
also happens to have my most junior men escorting it. They could really use someone with Wasteland experience leading the team. Hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna get paid, right? Do the job right and report back to me, and I'll make certain you get paid appropriately. Is that a plasma rifle you've got there? I could use that on the mission. I, I don't actually need it. Can you at least tell me what I'll be getting? I can pay you in bottle caps. Uh, maybe some weapons and armor, if I have any left from requisitions. <laughs> yeah, understood. It's fine. Good. All right, I'll protect the caravan and track down the attackers. Great. I had a feeling you would. Officers Davis and Lauren should have just left Project Purity. If you hurry, you'll catch them. Their course hugs the river closely. If you head north, following the river from Project Purity, you should catch up to them. Please, hurry. Oh, I have some questions about my mission. What's Rivet City getting out of helping the Brotherhood? At first, it was a win-win. They paid us and shared their technology with us. The spoils of their war with the Enclave were particularly enticing. However, with all the recent attacks, the extra resources end up being used just protecting the caravans from being exterminated. Hmm. I still don't understand why the Brotherhood isn't just selling the water. You'd think that'd be the smart thing, right? Then the caravan drivers could use the markup to simply pay for their own security. Wouldn't need us. Maybe it's an indirect marketing <laughs> campaign for the Brotherhood. Considering the war with the Enclave, they might need new recruits. Maybe. Whatever the case, as long as they keep paying us in caps and tech, we'll keep escorting the water. I have more questions about my mission? What do you need to know? Where do I find the caravan again? If you head north following the river from Project Purity, you should catch up to them. Please hurry. Please hurry? Okay, thanks. That's all for now. Fine. I have to go. Good luck out there. Okay. Where, where am I going? Oh, please say it's marked on the map, because if it's not marked on the map, I'm never going to be able to find them. Uh, I said north from Project Purity. So, in theory, if I just head this way, I should be able to find them. I do move rather slow, though. I'm also going the wrong direction. Could I... No. Let me save. Just in case I mess it all up. No, I think I have to go this way to get around. Brotherhood just getting owned over there by super mutants. Oh, is that my water caravan? Or is that just a caravan? direction. Yes, yes. The master, I just need to target his head. Now he's dead. It's fine. Look, lady, you weren't exactly being much help either. Uh, maybe I need to go to the Dukov's place and come down. Because I don't think I'm catching up very well. I don't think I'm catching up at all, to be honest. Eat this! 
Okay, now let's try to go to Zukov's place and head down, maybe. I'm struggling here. Here's the river, so if I head down towards them, we should run right into each other, I hope. Fox, you have fun killing bad guys, okay? I'm just gonna go find this caravan that seems to just be missing. Oh, we've been over here before. Well, we're getting closer. ignoring everybody else. Oh, I see fire going on. Good enough. It came out of nowhere. I need to get back to report to La Pelletier. She'll want to know what happened. Uh, thanks for the help. Officer Davis. Okay, and then Officer Lauren. What do you need? I feel like I've talked to you before. Oh, I have stuff that needs repair. Sure. I can fix most anything. Let me see what you've got. Do you, can you fix? You can fix. Um, I, the rest is probably fine. Bye. Okay, so I saved one of the officers. No, data quests. Discover who's ordering the attacks. Hey there. Hmm. Energy cell. A pressure cooker? Aquapura. I'm not carrying that around. That's 19 pounds of stuff. But the bandits. New meeting place. Okay, what is this all about? Hi, I'm Split Jack. I'm recording this because I figure half you idiots can't read for shit. <laughs> but you best don't lay this tape around just anywhere. <laughs> if you're listening to this, it's because one of my boys thinks he can trust you. If he's wrong, you're dead. If he's right, then you're going to be rich. Got us a plan, see? We hit the water mules with the Brotherhood busy fighting the Enclave. Soon they'll want to give up the whole delivery thing. Then we offer our protection services. Wasteland's dangerous and all. We charge them steep. On top of it, we sell the water to whoever we want. What? If you want in, ride out with the next ambush. Stash the water when it's done, the regulars will show you where, and then get up to Grandma Sparkles. Grandma loves visitors and keeps her mouth shut. That, and she cooks a mean stew. So that's where we meet. Wilhelm's Wharf. It's on the river. Don't get lost. Oh, and memorize the passphrase. It's Meyerlurk Stew. If you forget it, don't bother coming round. You'll get shot. No kidding. No kidding. Like, he's not joking. Grandma Sparkles? <laughs> Okay, so deal with Split Jack and his gang. Willem's Wharf. Okay. I've, I've been there before, apparently. What are you looking at? Get Bandit. Out of my face. Bandit. Grandma Sparkles. Split Jack. Grandma Sparkles. Lurks ain't got you yet, I see. You need some trading? I feel like I ran into you like a... a a million and one years ago, like way come back. back now, you hear? Early in my fallout, three days. All right, what hello, are you looking at? Split Jack. Who the hell are you? I came for the job. You still hiring guns? I'm here to send you and your gang into retirement. Got any last words? 
I'm nobody you need to worry about. I'm your worst nightmare. Say nothing. Uh, let's see where the first one goes. I'm not going to, like, work for him, but, you know. Huh. You're one of the newbies, then. Fine. So long as you know the passphrase, you're in. If not, you're dead. Am I dead? Passphrase? I don't know anything about a passphrase. Um, okay, yeah, the passphrase is eye patch. <laughs> Meyer lurks, too. Okay, you're lucky you knew that. Don't know who let you in, don't really care. This is a real simple game. Whoever's the toughest sets the rules. And that's me. And I got just one rule. Do what the hell I say when I say it. Mm. Now find a seat. We're waiting for some of the boys to get back. Oh, and put this on. We're a gang. We all wear the same uniform. Uh, metal armor? Damn it, girl. Like I told you, just one rule. Do what the hell I say. We're a gang. We all wear metal armor, so put it on already. Really? Okay, fine. I'll put on your stupid metal armor. What is it? Take a seat and relax already. You're making me nervous. So what's the score? It's time for someone else to take charge. You and me right now. Time to die. <laughs> I'm going to do that one if I can. No one told you? It's simple. We hit water caravans and stashed the Aqua Pura. And after Rivet City's had enough... We offer our Wasteland Protection Services. Then we control the water. And we charge whoever, whatever, we want for it. How do you like that? They're not going to pay you to protect something they're giving away for free. They aren't. I'm the boss of this gang. We do what I say. Don't forget that. Okay. It's time for someone else to take charge. You and me, right now. Time to die. You got a death wish? Fine by me. Knives, pipes, or boards? Uh, guns. Did I say guns? <laughs> no, I didn't. I said knives, pipes, or boards. I'm still the boss of this gang, so I still set the rules. So what will it be, asshole? Mm, uh, boards? Great, here's the nail board. Use that and only that. I get hit with something other than that, or by anyone else, and my boys join in. Oh. Good luck. You're gonna need it. F Fox, please don't hit him. Cause um that might be bad. Uh weapons, nail board. Fight! Uh oh. <laughs> Oh well. Fox ruined all the fun, but it's fine. Fox, did you kill Grandma Sparkles? I feel like he killed Grandma Sparkles. <laughs> I mean, I'm okay with it because she's probably a bad lady whose finger I'm going to go around and collect. But dang. <laughs> Grandma Sparkles was evil. <laughs> careful. What am I being careful of? Where'd she go? You think she went inside? I shouldn't be losing karma to clearly a bad lady. Locked easy. Oh, I haven't done one of these in a while. Shotgun shell. Oh no, I lost karma. Oh no. Oh, there's Grandma Sparkles. Lurks ain't got you yet, I see. <laughs> She's still alive. We'll see you real soon. <laughs> okay. Have fun hanging out with the dead bodies. <laughs> All right. So report to Officer Le Petelier that the job is done. It is done, isn't it? <laughs> that was... I, I wanted to be the new gang leader, but like... You know, Fox had to be all protective of me, I guess. Okay. Here is Officer Le Petelier. Yeah. 
Well, did you take care of whoever's behind the attacks on the caravans? Yep. A guy named Split Jack. Not to worry. He's dead now. Really? Oh, that's excellent. Thank you. As soon as I have a moment, I'll make arrangements to see to your reward. I, what do you mean you'll make arrangements? Yes, well, uh, I don't really have anything I can give you at the moment. I've simply, uh, run out of resources. Only a quarter of my escorts have made it back. I fear the worst. I'll send word to Bigsley, the Brotherhood scribe running things over at Project Purity. I'm sure the Brotherhood can reward you for your efforts. Really? Now, if you'll excuse me. No, I don't want to excuse you. You're not excused. You said you were going to give me a reward. And I expect a reward. I have Please. nothing to give you. Okay. Go speak with Bigsley at Project Purity if you need a reward. Ugh. This lady. I'm looking for troublemakers. Have you seen any? Nope. Keep it on the level and everything will be fine. And here you are. The spirits have blessed me with many gifts, but you have given the more marketable gift of monetary investment. Please accept this offering. A mask and helmet made from the hide of the wisest spirits of the wind. May it benefit you as fully as it has myself. Okay. Crow's Ibot helmet? Um, let's buy. Let's see what else he has. Have a look. See if anything calls out to you. This is my inventory. An Ibot helmet. That should be interesting. Wow, you've got a whole bunch of stuff. Okay, can you repair my yeah. gear? And helmet. And vengeance. Um, okay. What, what does this iBot helmet look like? I feel like I've had one before, but... Crow's iBot helmet. One perception. <laughs> this <is> great. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna wear it. <laughs> I look ridiculous. Of course I'm gonna wear it. <laughs> I mean, it's all about the glam. Okay? <laughs> All right, let's go see Mr. Grumpy Scribe and see if he will give me a reward. The endless supply of like Junior Scribes doing his bidding. Hello. Hi. What is it this time? Officer Le Patelier said you'd be rewarding me. Yes, yes, I received a message from her. It's here somewhere. And well, no matter where it is, I know what it said. <laughs> <sighs> the initiates just finished itemizing a requisition of confiscated Enclave gear. There were a few items that we didn't immediately send out. I suppose you're welcome to those. I the suppose. Brotherhood <laughs> thanks you for your efforts. Now, if you don't mind, I think I'll just take a brief nap here at my desk. Okay. Gatling laser. Absolutely. Electron charge packs. I'm assuming that means my quest is completed. Yes, protecting the waterway is completed. All right, so now I'm gonna work on the amazing Aqua Cura. Discover what Griffin at Underworld is doing with Aqua Cura. Okay, before we do that, let's try to empty my bags a little bit. Um, weapons, I just Prepared vengeance. I feel like I'll be fine for right now. Okay. Let's go to hey. Underworld. That's the rest of that sentence. I was like, where am I going again? I literally just said it. <laughs> but I imagine ghouls want clean water too. I feel like that was part of the conversation of like, why would they want anything? Because ghouls like clean water as well. Okay, now is he inside or outside? The amazing Aqua Cura. I'm waiting for like a magic show to pop up. What time of day is it? Two in the morning. Let's wait until 
We'll do our stand-up sleeping that we are so good at. Okay. Oh. I put even Grognak to shame. Men will fear you. Women will love you. Guaranteed. Amazing. Simply amazing. Losing your hearing? Having trouble eavesdropping across the room? Scientific tests conclude beyond a reasonable doubt that rinsing out your ears each morning with Aqua Cura guarantees your hearing will come back. <laughs> it's better than a fact. It's science. I'm getting a case for my family. The amazing Aqua Cura. Not only does it taste great, but it also reverses radiation poisoning. That's no. right. With each swig of pure Aqua Cura, you're one step closer to being your old self again. I can't believe it does all that. <laughs> That's wonderful. Have you tried the amazing Aqua Cura? All your friends and neighbors have. And you know what? They are already enjoying the many benefits that Aqua Cura brings. Act in the next five minutes, and new customers will get an extra bottle for free. <laughs> what are you waiting for? Amazing. Simply amazing. Step right up, step right up, one and all, and purchase the amazing Aqua Cura. It's the answer to all your problems. Get it's like one of those old school snake oil salesmen that, I mean, I'm obviously not old enough to know about any of them, but like I've seen them in movies and stuff, right? Or video games. More. We want to hear more. Well, hello there, smooth skin. Hi. Step right up. Have you come to savor the great taste of the amazing Aqua Cura? You have a very... Yeah, he has a nice head of hair for a ghoul, I mean. <laughs> Aha, that's right, my dear. The amazing Aqua Cura will rescue, restore, and regrow your hair back from premature balding. Um. Act now, and I'll throw in a box of Abraxo for, wait for it, free. Mix those together, and you'll have the best shampoo known to mankind. So, what do you say, young woman? Care to procure a bottle? No. Uh, got a free sample I could try? How much are you selling them for? Let's try that one. Well, friend, how much would you be willing to pay for such an amazing product as the amazing Aqua Cura? One cap. Many would pay 50, 75, even 100 bottle caps for such an amazing product with such an amazing guarantee. But for a limited time only, I am able to offer the amazing Aqua Cura for an introductory, exceptionally low price. Can I take a guess at how much? One cap. I do I really have to guess? <laughs> Why, yes. You can't imagine how low the special introductory price is. Go on, just guess. You'll never believe it. Uh, look, just tell me the price or I'm leaving. Ah, you know, fun. Ten caps. Pretty amazing, huh? You want a bottle? Sure. Fine. I'll, I'll take my ten caps already. Well, if I had 10 caps, I might buy a bottle. No, I'll, I'll buy it. Here you go. Run along now. And remember, all sales are final. No refunds. Friends, have you... What? Aqua Cura. No reds, plus 10 HP. Stop okay. combing your hair. Afraid of pulling out the few remaining plugs? Well, fear no longer. Cast your gaze upon my luxurious coiffure. Yeah, it and looks now, like a wig, you to be honest. You can get your hair back with the amazing Aqua Cura. Guaranteed, or your bottle cap's back. Amazing. I hope there's nothing wrong with your Aqua Cura. Remember, all sales are final. Um, now, how can I help you, dear returning customer of mine? Here's 10 caps, I'll take a bottle. I'm curious, where, where'd you get this Aqua Pura? Pitbull analysis shows that your Aqua Cura is irradiated. Interesting. No, I don't think it did. Uh, yeah, I'm curious where you get all the Aqua Pura. Really? What's it matter to you anyway? I'm not interested in making trouble. I'm just curious where you got the water. I'd have thought Aqua giving Aqua Pura to, to a ghoul would seem like a waste. Just making conversation. I really don't care where you get this stuff. First one, I think. All right. But keep your mouth shut about it. Okay. The Brotherhood's happy just giving the stuff away, right? Well, they drove me out claiming ghouls don't need fresh water. Well, 
Big surprised that when I offered to pay for it, next thing I knew, I was talking to Scribe Bigsley, the guy in charge of the whole shebang. Yeah. Didn't really want to, but on principle, I wanted to prove that ghouls are worth the cost, so I paid him. Now I'm stuck selling this stuff. <laughs> Good thing whatever they put in it to kill the radiation also undoes the radiation damage to ghoul physiology. Thus, Aquapura becomes Aquacura. Hippoly analysis shows that your aqua cura is irradiated. Interesting. Ah, uh, what? That doohickey on your wrist says the water's irradiated? That's a pretty fancy device if it can know something like that. But clearly it's, uh, misinformed. You should get that <laughs> fixed because it's definitely giving you false information. You're clearly up to something. There's no denying it. Talk now. Relax. I don't care. Take, the, take these morons for all they're worth. I'm just curious. There's nothing wrong, my pit boy. You, sir, are a liar. Um, middle one? <laughs> you're not fooling anyone. Everyone knows you're one of the good guys. Yeah, I am. But seriously, kid, I'm not up to anything. Just ask any of these fools. <clears throat> I mean, loyal customers. <laughs> they already see the many benefits of the amazing Aqua Cura. Have an But, like, my Aqua Cura. See, it says zero red, so I don't know what's it's going on. Welcome back. What can I. Let's try the speech option. You know, kid, you really ought to have proof before you go around insulting people like that. Now, if you don't mind, why don't you take your baseless accusations elsewhere? I have important business to conduct. Yeah, oh, darn, I failed the speech check. Oh, well. So, what was I supposed to be doing now? Uh, discover what Bigsley knows. Discover what Bigsley at Project Purity knows about Griffin's water supply. Discover what Griffin is. Discover what Griffin at Underworld is doing with Aquapira. Huh. So I need to go back to Bigsley. Still haunted by the war. Interesting. I wonder if I can do this quest. I don't really seem to have the speech checks for it, and I'm too much of a goody two-shoe. But we will investigate that and more on Wednesday, because I'm going to pause things here today. So as always, thank you so very much for watching. Please do keep yourselves safe, and I will see you again on Wednesday with another new Fallout 3 video.